So here I am setting up a bubble lift reactor using Turbiner Carpus as an example. Um, this is a control reactor for some other plants that we're gonna be doing. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So pretty much I already have a bubble lift reactor set up. It's a, a globe style. Um, and I'm gonna dump a bunch of this callus that has some differentiation, some undifferentiation, um, just to see how well the cells survive in the culture and if they expand out. Um, if they do, we'll go ahead and plate the liquid culture that ends up coming out of here to see if we can regenerate any more cactus. Um, but for now, we're just gonna run it and see how it looks. Um, and it's gonna be under light. So hopefully it'll keep that green color. Um, it just kind of shows you the potential for other medicinal plants or other things, um, plants that have certain compounds in their cells. This is a way for scaling up um, small scale, um, but it really depends on the type of production and protein that you're making um, and it increases. I mean, you can, you can get the size of a vessel that you need for the amount of production that you have, right? Um, or if you're in it for plantlet production or embryogenesis, this can be a great tool as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take off this top. Right, and then everything inside here is sterile. I'm working in a sterile condition. This drape is sterile as well. So you can see right before, very green, some differentiation. If you look at my last video, you'll actually see um, how differentiated it was. But I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it in there. The base of that box has a lot of agar, and it's something that we do not want to add into the reactor. Throw these bad boys in there. Perfect. All right. And then as you can see, the pieces are in there, and I'm gonna connect the base um, so that it actually bubble lifts, All right? So thanks for checking out the setup.